Okay, here is a beautiful quilt uh, hanging up, and this hangs in the lovely southern home with a very eclectic style of the unknown, a, quilt, maker. Uh, of the unknown quilt maker. And here we're here to showcase her tools, which is this table. And here's the unknown quilt maker now, who. Uh, would you describe uh, something of your technique on this table, ma'am? Yes. Hello. I'm the unknown quilt maker. Are you a frustrated <laughs> quilt maker? Would you like to have a custom built quilt table like this? Made by Leroy Price out of three pieces of plywood and a couple of screws and some wheels? For a slight nominal fee, you too can have a fabulous quilt table like this. Thank you. Uh, well, now we're going to show off the table a little bit. Now this is made of uh, a plywood. It looks to be about 5'8", uh, I would say. Uh, we made this uh, a year ago. And um, I understand that one thing that the uh, quilters need is a ledge here. So we plan that with a ledge. And uh, unknown quilt maker could you show us your clips that you use? Why, certainly, Leroy. One moment. <laughs> and this table happens to be on six small casters, so it is uh, movable. And how's it moving around? No, no problem with that. No, it's fine. It's fine. It rolls okay. around on six wheels that have brakes. Okay, and, and these are the, uh, the the clips. And could you demonstrate your technique on uh, oh, how certainly. how you work with a clip? So you put down your quilt material and you clip it to the ledge. There you are. That Leroy the... built into the uh. custom quilt table. Okay. And uh, we uh, left two inches. Uh, from the edge on the bottom here, which left us uh, two inches on the top so that you could quilt on the side and then so as not to have a problem at the corner uh, the corner got notched and now this table being made of three sheets of plywood there's a full sheet on the bottom a full sheet on the top and then uh, the sides use up about um, half of the other sheet which left us a large piece that went right down the middle inside and this in turn has made this uh, table very very solid uh, it would be nice if it went the full length but it does not but uh, with the conservation of materials uh, it came out with uh, going down about halfway and then uh, you can see there's so much room for storage which gets utilized with these uh, quilts and the quilt material and uh, it got a nice coat of paint so uh, the cloth doesn't stick to it there was a little bit of sanding one could even put cork on the top of their surface okay so you would recommend this style Yes, I highly recommend to other the quilt Leroy makers Price. who are not who are not unknown. I but. highly recommend the Leroy Price handcrafted <laughs> quilt table. And I would like and to point out that this will be the next item that will be put onto the quilt table and quilted. All right. And you can see that this lovely southern home with its eclectic style uh, is just the perfect room for you to immerse yourself in the art of quilt making and with this table to assist you you're sure to uh, uh, be a success and enjoy your time okay unknown quilt lady when when will you think you'll be uh, stopping incognito or depending on how famous I become uh, my current plan is to remain anonymous until further notice. All right, well, well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Right. And lending us into your lovely uh, home. You're welcome. All right. Okay, just to rehash what we talked about, we took uh, three sheets of 5-8 uh, plywood. 
four by and eight, but do you have to say four, four by eight? Four by eight plywood, right. Put together with uh, just uh, sheetrock screws, uh, 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 wallboard screws, they were, they were about two inches. And uh, so it was a one sheet here for the base, and then we had uh, casters, six casters. And then we uh, allowed for the casters to came up whatever height we wanted, uh, it was something like 30, 32 or 34 inches, whatever the height uh, we wanted. And that was the other top plate of, of plywood. Now for the sides, we figured the height and then we did like a little 45. Made two of these, one on each end, and that way the, uh, the top had this area that you can get a clip under. And these sides were indented about two inches so you could get clips on the end. And there was a piece of plywood left over, and that we put upright, right in the middle. It came about halfway. It was right in the middle, and we screwed into that. And that gave it a lot of rigidity, so it can't just fall over like a house of cards. This made it extremely rigid. And then this was a lot of space. So if you want to get more of the three sheets of plywood, put shelves in here, that's uh, something, something else to consider. But this seems to be working pretty well. And thank you.